What's up, West Coasters? Welcome back to another episode of Cheap Eats in LA. If you're new around here, I'm Isaac. I'm Molly. This is Molly. And we are checking out some awesome Filipino pastries today at the Red Ribbon Bakery. to try this. A bunch of you out there suggested we try Red Ribbon. We really haven't had a lot of Filipino baked goods yet, so we're way into the idea of bug, but uh, we were kind of curious. What's your go-to LA spot for Filipino food? If you have a place that you love, put it in the comments below and we'll try to check it out. By the way, if you're into LA foodie videos or theme parks or fun things to do in LA, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, but also hit the red subscribe button because we always have amazing plans on the way. We'd hate for you to miss it. It's a really hot day today, and we knew when we came we wanted to get these amazing pastries, but then we saw on the menu they have Halo Halo. It's an amazing frozen dessert that you mix up. I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna mix it quite yet, so I think I'm just gonna dig in. Some kind of ice cream on top. This is our second time having Halo Halo, and I can say from the get-go, this is way different than the last one we had at Max's in Glendale. This is this really interesting like mango ice cream on the top. It's yummy. So if, if you look on top, there's also a little bit of flan. That's really yummy. We've got some what looks like shaved ice. Let's get some of that. Shaved ice and maybe evaporated milk. Okay, this is really good. Mmm. So it really is surprising how different this is from the Hollow Hollow we had at Max's Chicken. Max's, is that what it's called? Max's in Glendale? I don't know. But this is really kind of a little more rich and yummy. Time to dig down to the bottom. Some kind of purple ube. Trying to kind of give it that mix that you're supposed to give it. It looks mm. really good. I had never had any dessert like this before Hollow Hollow. Hollow Hollow is now in our lives and it's here to stay. It's, oh, there you go. Look at that. We've got some type of jello in there. We've got those classic like sweet beans that are in. Down the hatch. This dessert was tailor-made for hot weather. It's sweet, it's delicious, it's different textures, so interesting, super shareable. I think we're gonna be coming back to Red Ribbon a lot for Hello Hello. I love this. So what do you think compared to the last one? Yeah, the last one we had at Max's, I think that this one is actually a lot better. It's just more going on. I feel like there's more flavors, that ice cream on top, that little bit of flan, like, it's just so good. Isaac approved. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. We knew we were gonna grab pastries when we came here, but we didn't realize they were also really known for their empanadas. And from the looks of it, the regular chicken, the original chicken empanada, is what they're most well known for. So I'm excited to give this a try. Oh my goodness, it's really good. So this is kind of surprising because the dough is actually kind of sweet. Then the chicken on the inside is this really yummy comfort food flavor, very savory. It reminds me of those chicken pot pies you'd get, you know, growing up and you'd like throw them in the oven or the microwave at home. Although this is way better. I'm gonna be wanting to come back for these. The flavor of the chicken mixture on the inside is just perfect. Highly recommend these, so good. The spicy chicken empanada. Let's try this. That's really good. When I think of empanadas, I usually think of the empanadas that you get from Central American or South American restaurants. I know that empanadas originally come from like Spain and Portugal, so it makes sense that you might find them in the Filipino cuisine, but this is my first time trying a Filipino empanada. It's really good. The chicken flavor is excellent. They say spicy, but it's not very spicy. I'm not running for a drink. The pastry is kind of sweet, so that's nice. And um, the pastry is pretty thick. It's not super flaky. It's not super light. It's really dense, so this is going to fill you up if you're looking for for a nice snack. Crispy crust. 
flaky. I like flaky all again. We all experience flavors differently from each other. That's what's so exciting about food, I think. And I just took a bite out of the spicy empanada, and I found it pretty spicy, actually. So, you know, if you're not a huge spice person, this might push you a little bit, but I think it's super tasty. A great spicy flavor. So I've got the cheesy ensamada here. It's not our first time trying an ensamada. I saw this as one of the first options and it looked so good. Last time we tried a cheesy ensamada, it was actually at the 626 Night Market at a really great like, bakery stall. But we wanted to try the one they have here because I know that's one of their really go-to standard items. Definitely smells cheesy. You fans of sweet and salty flavors combined, rejoice. This is so stinking good. Mm. The sweet and fluffy pastry on the inside combined with a pretty sharp, strong, cheesy flavor on the top. It's perfection. There's some kind of like, maybe butter underneath the cheese too that gives it a little extra kind of rich savoriness. Now, winner, big winner in my book. Okay, it even says on the package, perfectly sweet, cheesy, and buttery. That's where that butter flavor is coming from, butter. I can't believe it's not butter. That looks good, I'm gonna try it. Nothing's better than butter. Mmm. Now I think this one is way better than the one we had at the 6269 market. There's way more cheese. This is great. Blue ribbon's getting redefined as red ribbon for first place. This is the ube mamon. It's like a sponge cake. I hope I said mamon correctly, the way it's supposed to be pronounced. This is like a sponge bake, sponge, sponge cake, sponge cake that has uh, some ube in it, which is that kind of like sweet potato, like taro. Um, and it makes it super bright and purpley. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah! To me, ube has always seemed like a very subtle flavor that I'll try things that say they're ube and I'm not really tasting it, it just tastes sweet. You can really taste that ube flavor in there. It's really sweet, but it also has that kind of like deep, like earthiness to it that kind of reminds me almost of like a coconut or something. This is really good. Don't skip this when you come here. What's the texture like? It's super, super light and delicate. It's really soft. It's not dense at all. Yummy. Oh, this is amazing. Perfect with a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee in the big time, yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. They gave us a little plastic bag. Should we take little bits of this home? Because I know we got a lot. No, I, I think we'll finish this. <laughs> Sunday brunch, doing it big. We grabbed the butter memo because it looked like one of their really standard go-to items. So light and fluffy. I was checking out the ingredients, and the first ingredient is egg whites, which explains gorgeous texture. <laughs> The butter flavor is insane. This is delicious, gorgeous, kind of almost angel food cake texture if I had to compare it to something, but it's delicious on its own, but I could also see this going really well with like some fruit on top. This is amazing. Yeah, that'd be so good with maybe like berries on top, raspberries. It'd be like a perfect summer dessert. Here we have the Taizan slice. It feels a little bit more dense than the Mamoon pastries. The first ingredient is still egg whites though, so it looks like it's kind of got that like really spongy texture. Let's try that. Mmm. It's nice and sweet. It almost has a subtle citrus flavor to it. And on the outsides, it's like, it's just a little extra sweet or maybe it was like slightly glazed with something, but I don't know, I've never had this before. It's really good. It almost reminds me of a Twinkie with no filling. It's really good. I definitely, I definitely recommend getting this. It's awesome. We wanted to grab something here that had mango in it, so we grabbed this mango bar. I have no idea what it's gonna be like. Better get in there. Mm, it reminds me of like an old school bar cookie. Mm, okay. So this is completely different than the other pastries. It's dense, it's super sugary. You've got the dried mango in there. Super tasty, but it really does feel more like a um, kind of desserty item, like cookie or a brownie type thing. If you like mango, you're probably gonna love this. We didn't really know what to expect coming here, but we are pleasantly surprised. But the thing that I think that surprised me the most is just the punch of flavors you get with things. They go all in ube, the cheese, mango, what if butter, whatever the flavors are, they go big with that. And I think that's why these pastries are just so lovable. I think that my favorite thing of the day was the ube mamon, because you could really get that nice, deep, and delicious ube flavor. And I feel like I've had so many desserts now that say they're ube flavored, and it's just kind of lacking. It's just super sweet. You don't get that punch of ube. This one's my favorite for sure. And 
let us know in the comments below. What is your favorite Filipino pastry? Well, we give Red Ribbon Bake Shop a huge thumbs up. We loved it. They have several locations all around the LA area, but also worldwide, I think. So if you got one near you and you can get to one, we really recommend it. And until we see you here next time, we just want to say... Cheers! Cheers.